what is Jerry Jones getting at? He he keeps saying everything but Mike McCarthy, this is your last year. Dan Quinn came back and he's gonna be my coach in waiting. I mean, it feels like it's well, not even vague now, anymore. Dan, and I, I I get on my boys because my boys Sean and RJ down in uh Dallas, they they interview Jerry every, every Friday. I, I go on with them every Wednesday. And I always tell him, I say, stop starting stuff. You, you you guys start stuff. You ask Jerry a question, he says stuff, and then it goes national. And I got to be out here batting it down on a national day. Jerry, you know, uh, so every time Jerry says, they all want to coach the Cowboys. Everybody, everybody wants to be a head coach. Every coach in the NFL wants to be a head coach. If he doesn't, you should not hire him. That means he has no aspiration. How can he inspire others if he's not inspired himself? So you should not hire him. Now, that's just the reality of it. But then Jerry said, I'm dealing with this. How is it that you got both of your coordinators back, both coordinators back, and, and at one point your offense was the number one offense, it finished the number two offense in total and number one in scoring, yeah, and you get both your defense was the number one defense in takeaways. And people are out here saying that, man, you, you know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting a different result. Like it's a bad thing that they got both of their coordinators back. Only when you're the Dallas okay, Cowboys. Okay, but if you had that offense and that defense, then what are you missing? I have to look at the head coach. The coordinators right. did their jobs. Well, there are a lot of things that go on in the course of a season. Injuries here, one thing here, one thing there. So it's not just like, okay, we didn't win the Super Bowl this year. Let's put a dynamite stick to this thing and blow it all up. That doesn't make Do sense. Do you think it, they underachieved this year? They won 12 did games. Did they underachieve? They, they, wait, wait, wait. wait. wait they, 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 Dan, we, they, Postseason. Uh, Dan, I am not in a courtroom. You are not a lawyer. <laughs> this is not a witness, Dan. You will give me a chance to answer these answer questions. Answer the questions. That's what I'm telling you. I've had many days in a witness, Dan, right here, and it's not what I'm going through right now. <laughs> I know what that's like. And that's what I'm feeling like right now. I just don't, you know what? I'm saying, but but then no, listen, man. A listen. disappointing season? Oh, no doubt disappointing because you did not win a playoff game. Okay. But you won 12 games. You got to try to first. Let's, let's talk. You got to try to first get back to those 12 games. So let's duplicate that and then get in the playoffs and do something different. But, yes, getting those coordinators back, that was a great get. Only, only around this country, and only when it's the Dallas Cowboys, is that a bad thing? Yeah, but that comes with the territory. They asked for this. You know what? They're America's team. That's what the district attorney tried to say to me. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with the territory, Michael. You asked me. I said, no, I did. I didn't tell y'all to come in that hotel room. I was fine by myself. <laughs> <laughs> He tried to tell me. I, that's true, too. I ain't lying. That's exactly what he tried. You know what I'm saying? I'm Mike, like, no, Mike no, no, you're no. a walking no. 30 for 30. You know? <laughs> <laughs>